Hey, my friends, welcome back to RV with me. Well, today I'm here with Scott Dirks. Hey, Scott, nice to have you on the show. Hi, Jules, good to see you. Hi, folks, thanks for tuning in. Well, listen, I know you're gonna show us this really fun Outback travel trailer, right? But before that, we got a video from one of our viewers. Now, he went to the Salton Sea. Have you been there? I haven't yet. Well, it looks really fun. Let's check it out. Hi, Jules, welcome to the Salton Sea. Come on, let's go explore. Welcome to California's largest inland body of water. The Salton Sea is a true RV destination with inland harbors, recreation trails, and so much more. On the South Shore, state recreation areas offer full hookups, pull-throughs, paved roads, beach access, boat launch facility, fishing and kayak trails, ultimate bird watching, and wildlife preserve. Over on the North Shore of the Salton Sea, definitely check out Oasis Palms RV Resort plush Spanish style facility, heated pool and spa, first class tennis courts, large pull throughs with full hookups, green grass, campfires, a true RV paradise. Drive down the shoreline of the Salton Sea, check out the small town, Salton City. Salton Sea Beach. I highly recommend to RV by the Salton Sea. From the Salton Sea, back to you, Jules. Well, thank you for sending us that video, Russ. You know, I have to tell you that Salton Sea looks like a really cool place, right? It does. I mean, I'm gonna add that to my family's RV adventure list. Well, listen, Scott, I have to tell you, once again, I know you're gonna show us the Outback, but when I came in this morning, I saw this really cool screen room attached to it. And you know, being a mom and a, a girl and an RVer, I, I had to kind of stage it. I, I staged it for how my family would like it. That's perfect. <laughs> so I'm excited to show you. Let's have a peek. Come on, let's go. Well, Scott, like I said earlier, when I came in this morning, I know I went a little crazy, but I thought this screen room was so cool. I mean, I had to kind of dress it up, you know, as if I was going RV in, like right now. <laughs> and you did a great job on making it look nice in here, Jules. Well, other than I love this because to me, it's like bringing the outdoors in and it's more room for me and my family when we when we go RVing. But what are the, other than I like it, right? I like the looks of it. What are the benefits and, you know, who makes this? Well, this is a Solara screen room. And what's nice about the screen room is if the bugs are bad, the weather's not the, the absolute condition you'd like it to be, mm -hmm. you can still have the family come in, enjoy the campfire, enjoy the smell of the pine trees, and still enjoy having your family in here, not without dealing with all the elements. Well, and does it stay a little cooler in here if it's really hot outside? It does, delect, does deflect the sunlight, okay. so that you are able to enjoy it in here and be a little cooler than you would be out in the sun. Okay, now what about, I, I did a little research, and I, I thought there are something a little bit more detailed. I think it's the um, the family room or they something. They do do What's a family with that? room. Okay. The family room is in a completely enclosed area okay and it has a zip out windows okay so that you can still be able to enjoy the fresh air and again smell the pine trees and enjoy yourself camping and my kids could sleep out here probably at they night right could. i they love could. that you more room for me and my here. husband inside you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's right well the other thing i noticed was um i, I don't know what these things are on the awning what, what's going now, on now this that? is called an umbrella okay so for, umbrella. For your, an umbrella for oh, your awning okay okay basically it's going to enhance your entryway and the clearance. Oh, a little you, bit more room? That's okay. right. It also doesn't allow any water to pool up there when it's oh, raining. Oh, because it's kind of bowed. That's correct. Nice. Right. And okay. also, no flapping when the wind's blowing. Oh, so it makes it more secure. That's correct. And what about, okay, this is all great, but is it a big deal to, you know, set it up and break it down when you're RVing? Once the process is done, it's a very easy setup and teardown process. Nice. Well, listen, I love this. I'm not even sure I want to go inside that RV, tell you the truth. We need to go in <laughs> just It's beautiful. Okay, let's check it out now. Jules, check out this kitchen. It's got a great size island, three burner cooktop, and check out all the storage. Wow, I'm loving this storage. And moving over to the dinette, it seats four comfortably and will also become a bed. Nice. Look at our comfortable theater seating. Oh, Scott, you look good in that. In front of the flat screen TV. And we know you're about the romance. Look at the fireplace below. <laughs> now moving back to the bedroom, we have a nice walk around queen bed. Look at this Jack and Jill bathroom. You can enter it from the bedroom or the living area. And now Jules, check out the second bedroom. Wow. With bunk bed and a couch that will also become a bed. Nice. You can also put a TV in there. 
Wow, Scott, with this Outback that has two bedrooms, this awesome screen room, the umbrella, I mean, really, I'm ready to go for my family of four, but the question is, is there a way where I can just, you know, pick this up and go just like this? Can you make that happen? I think we can accommodate you on that, Jules. <laughs> well, listen, my friends, I think it really is time to go RVing and check out all the really cool places and fun things to do all throughout California. Now heading down to the Southern California area, it's the Dana Point Festival of Wales from March 4th to 5th and 11th to 12th. Wales are great. That's right. Here you'll experience the incredible 5,000 mile migration of the majestic California gray whale. And back up here in the Bay Area on Saturday, March 11th, it's the West Coast's largest Irish event. Now that sounds like a party, Jules. Exactly, with the 166th annual San Francisco St. Patrick's Day Parade and Festival. Woohoo! <laughs> and for all of you car enthusiasts. Vroom, vroom, we yeah, love the cars. Exactly, in Pleasanton on March 25th and 26th. Get ready for the Good Guys All American Get Together Car Show, where you'll see 3,000 American classics. And here's a really unique event. At the Sonoma County Fairgrounds from March 31st to April 2nd, it's the 59th annual Arabian and Half Arabian Horse Show. Wow, come and watch some amazing horses perform and compete. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of fun stuff to go do. Well, that's right, there really is. Well, listen, my friends, Scott and I are going to take a little break, but head on over to Seagrins, where there really is an RV show going on every day, where nobody buys for less and nobody sells for less. Seagrins RV is just 25 minutes south of San Jose, right off the 101 freeway at the Gilroy Island. You know, Scott, I had a lot of fun with you today. Thank you. Thank you. I had a great time, too. We'll be right back.